Welcome back, everybody. This is Steve KM9G, and we've got a firmware update news flash for you. I'm on the road. I had to pull over onto the side of the road, get the cheapest, crappiest motel I could with the wonderful shower curtain in the background, and uh, just get you out the latest news. This is version 1.1.4, February 16th firmware. Today's February 17th, and as I understand it, the firmware was uploaded February 16th on Radiotity's website. It did take them a while to get the 125 firmware update, which you could get from the EU site, uh, but now we've got both firmwares on Radiotity's website. There will be a link in the description down below in order to get those. Here's a quick overview of some of the features. The 1.1.4 firmware, the app, uh, updates the FFT peak hold switch, so now you've got a couple of different settings for that. It uh, fixed a bug gateway can't save in WLAN settings page. We've had all kinds of problems with Wi-Fi and there had to be a couple of manual tricks that you had to do in order to get the Wi-Fi working through the app. Um, so hopefully this fixes that. Change RX volume from 0 to 50 from 0 to 50 to 0 to 55. So we've added five more dB worth of volume. Excellent. It was actually loud enough to begin with, but five more is, is better than no more. Let's see. Uh, change CW decoder's threshold to a higher level. level, Better robustness, but needs higher signal-to-noise ratio, SNR. We'll have to play with that. The CW decoder, what I have found with the CW decoder is that it is a little bit delayed. Even though you've told it what speed you're keying at or what speed you're listening at, it still needs to learn a little bit. But once it gets going, if you're in a long time rag chew with somebody, it can keep up pretty well. Uh, so now the threshold is a higher level, which is supposed to give you better robustness. Calibrate the receive S meter, giving more accuracy. Okay, I don't know how we would tell. Maybe do a side-by-side -side comparison with another radio. That, that could be something that we do. Add ALC level indicator at the top right of the band scope. Okay, so finally we have ALC. I've been looking for ALC. Um, because we didn't really have a way to tell whether we were out of the ALC range or whether we were clipping or anything along those lines. Now we should be able to tell this. Optimize the firmware flashing logic. Baseboard will boot up itself after flash. Okay, I did mention this in a previous video. I guess they, they were watching and they took some notes there. And then the base code, uh, again, this is version 1.1.4, February 15th. The version numbers are a little weird, so I always talk about it being the... Um, which firmware version releases. I believe this is firmware version 6, but check the title of the video. That'll tell you which firmware we're talking about right now. Fix bug built-in mic feedback to speaker sometimes. Okay, I don't know how I would test that because I didn't hear it before, so I don't know what it sounded like before. Fix bug baseboard sometimes not booting at power on. I did not notice that before, but that's a pretty serious bug. Um, optimize the ALC algorithm. Okay. Um, did not know that it had an ALC algorithm before because we didn't have an ALC meter, so we never knew that it was doing any ALC work, but apparently it was behind the scenes all along and we just didn't know it. Optimize the SWR algorithm, less jumping around. Well, that would be good because we lost the SWR meter in a previous update of the firmware, but it appears to be back now. We will check that out. Optimize switching power synchronization algorithm, less birdies. Okay. Switching power synchronization algorithm. Interesting. So now we've got some tips on the ALC. Uh, ALC tricks. A, the ALC level equal to zero over driving decrease input signal level. ALC level equal to 100 under driving increase input signal level. So this appears to be backwards. When you're putting in too much signal, it goes to zero. When you're putting in too little signal, it goes to 100. Uh, but that is the same way that I understand the G90 did it. So it's the same logic that they've used before. They're just using it again, which is good. So it'll, uh, you can still say that all Zygu radios work the way all Zygu radios do. I, I can see that. When doing digital modes, the audio baseband signals are almost constant amplitude. Adjust the sound card volume to make ALC level between 20 and 80 to get good linearity. So that is actually a really good tip for all you digital mode fans like myself. Stay tuned to the channel for future updates uh, because I am on the road. I won't be able to get this thing plugged in and tested until I get to a more central location. And then I'll put out videos with um, updates to uh, whether these features work or don't work and how well they do or do not work. So be sure to stay subscribed for that. Otherwise, there's a video right over there. Nope, it's over there that I think you will enjoy next. Thanks for being awesome. We'll see you in the next one.